What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Vilma and welcome to this week's video. Today I am bringing you a very, very natural, I think it's my most natural makeup tutorial. It's going to be a barely there makeup and I took inspiration by a YouTuber that I follow. I absolutely adore her. Her name is Jess and she has a channel called Fashion Style Edit and I really love the fact that she wears a very toned down makeup style on most of her videos, her skin always looks very glowy, very fresh, um, and also looks very youthful. For those of you who are new here, I'm in my 40s, and to be honest, for me, makeup less is more. So for me to do this, it's very easy because it's something that I actually enjoy. So I like to enhance what I already have rather than mask it. Sometimes I do wear a full face of makeup, but I still like to look subtle and like myself rather than somebody that I'm not. My main concerns are enlarged pores, I have combination to oily skin, fine lines. I don't really have a lot to cover but I still like to enhance what I already have. So I feel like the products that I'm going to show you today that I'm going to be using are perfect for that. Of course if you want to replicate this makeup look you need to try and kind of like possibly change a few products, add a few, maybe remove others, just to cater to your own personal needs. So before we get into the video, I wanna quickly show you the skincare products that I use. I find that prepping your skin is super important. So we always need to have a good, foundation for the products that we're going to lay over and it's super important for you to have or to nail that perfect um, skincare for your day to day. So the first product that I want to show you is my cleanser and this one is by CeraVe. I've been using this for at least five or six months. It's a foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin and I absolutely love it and this is a product that I use to remove all of my makeup but I use it both at night and during the day. I then follow up with a serum. The one that I'm currently using at the moment is by L'Oreal and this is from their Revitalift line. I try different serums here and there. I'm trying to find something that is more affordable because I usually use higher end ones. This one is not that bad. I also use a toner and I use the toner before I use this one but I'm telling you guys this in a different order. So the toner is also from L'Oreal. It's from their H Perfect uh, Refreshing Toner. It's supposed to be a smoothing toner and to give you an anti-fatigue finish. So it's very smoothing on the skin. I really, really like it. The next two products, if you're familiar to my channel, they're not going to be a surprise to you guys. The first one is the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base from Bobbi Brown, which I've been using since the beginning of this year, and the Vitamin Enriched Face Base for the face that I've been using since 2017. These are my Ride or Die skincare products. I absolutely love them. And of course, the last skincare product that I wanna show you guys, that it's super important to have good protection for your skin is a good SPF. This one is new, I've been loving it. It's by Vichy and it's supposed to be a matte SPF. As I mentioned, I have combination to oily skin and I need to keep my skin oil-free as much as possible because it's pretty much impossible for uh, those of us who have this type of skincare issue, but I love it and it's 50 plus, so it definitely protects my skin. Now with the skincare products out of the way, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna start with this makeup tutorial. So the first step that I take every time when I start doing my makeup is applying a lip balm. This one is from Nivea and it has SPF 30, if I'm not mistaken, and I love it. You need to protect your lips as well. lips are done I'm gonna move along to my next step which is applying a primer this one is from Laura Mercier it is the silicone free pure canvas primer but this is the illuminating version really like this just to apply it a little bit on the high points of my face so that it kind of like catches the light with the products that I'm going to apply on top so this product all that it does is 
help the cream products that I'm going to put on top just stick to my face a little bit better and it also gives me a more glowy look which is very nice so for this look I am skipping foundation and tinted moisturizer I'm gonna go straight into a concealer this one is from Laura Mercier and this one is called the flawless fusion ultra Longwear concealer I'll put my shades below because I end up forgetting but for those of you who are familiar to my channel you probably already know which shade I wear on this one. I really like this formula because it's super uh, light and it's very long wearing to be honest and what I like to do is just apply a little bit underneath my eyes and then drag it just a little bit down here apply it on my nose because my nose is always very red in this area a little bit here just to highlight and a little bit right here. I then blend it away with a beauty sponge. This one is actually new. I got it very recently, which I love. There's nothing better than getting a new sponge for your makeup routine. So I try to not move the product too much. I only want the product to stay kind of like in the center of my face because it's going to highlight this area. So I'm gonna drag it up just a little bit here. And I wanna bring it on the inner corner because that is the only place where my eyes get a little bit uh, darker. So I want to do that really close to my inner corner. And I wanna blend this out really, really good so there's no harsh lines between my natural skin tone and the concealer itself. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to powder because I need to set my makeup with a powder or else I will look very oily throughout the day. My setting powder is by Laura Mercier. Again, I am using a lot of their products because I really, really love them. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder and I've been using this, I think, for over a year now and I absolutely love it. I feel like this tub is going to last me ages, but I'm only going to set the high points of my face. So underneath my eyes where my concealer is, my nose and my T-zone, and possibly just a little bit here, maybe a little bit. At the moment, I think I'm just going to set the areas of concern where my concealer could move or my skin is just going to turn quite oily throughout the day. So what I do, I apply as much powder as I, not too much, but over here as quickly as possible. And then I continue patting with my sponge to make sure that the powder just really fuses in with the skin and it doesn't look powdery. I just want to set the concealer and not look super matte. Okay, so my creamy concealer has been set with the powder and now I'm going to move on to bronzer. I am using a matte bronzer from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Natural and it's a shade like this. It's kind of like almost cool toned, but I only want to add a little bit of dimension to my face and not really bronze my face too much. It's just adding a little bit of dimension because at the moment my face looks pretty flat. Um, although I didn't apply too much cream, creamy products, um, it looks a little bit flat. So we're just going to add a little bit of that bronze, but not a glowy bronze because we don't want too much glowiness for this look when it comes to the powders, that's what I mean. So I'm just adding this and then going with a three just to give that dimension to my face. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of color to my cheeks and I'm using another product from Bobbi Brown. This is a creamy blush. I believe they're called Pot Rouge. And this one is in the shade Powder Pink. And it's one of my favorite products in my makeup collection because it's a multitasking product. You can use it on your face, as in on your cheeks. You can use it on your lips. And if you want, you can apply it on your eyelids. Although I don't do that, but you could if you wanted to. I love this shade. It's very wearable and I tend to wear this a lot in the summertime because it just gives me a nice I don't know youthful look that I love bring it in a little bit it's that summery everyday sunkissed look and as I mentioned this product is a multitasking product so now I'm just going to apply some of it on my lips okay so now we're going to move on to brows 
I have a really easy routine on my day today when it comes to brows. I just brush these matte hairs into place and then I just go on top with a brow gel which is a little bit tinted. This one is from NYX. It's almost dry. <laughs> I need to get a new one. But this is pretty much what I do on a day to day because um, my brows are starting to look a little bit more full. Um, and I really just like this easy way of brushing them. And to be honest, this is all you need for a very minimal look because you just want to enhance, right? So if you already have full brows, all you need is to apply a little tint and brush them. That's all you need. So you could definitely stop here and you already have an even skin tone and whatever you needed to enhance has already been enhanced. But I'm going to add two more steps, which are really not necessary, but I will add two more steps. So I'm going to use another product from Bobbi Brown. This is a long wear cream shadow stick. This one is in gold, golden pink, and it's, it's a very natural, uh, barely there type of product because all you need to do is blend it out straight away and it just gives you kind of like a wash of color on your eyelid it really is very very subtle but you think it hasn't done anything but it has it really has enhanced that that area of your face and my last step is going to be applying mascara. But as mentioned before, you could totally stop here. I feel like the makeup looks really nice, very natural. But I'm going to apply mascara because I would apply mascara on a day-to-day -day anyway. And I feel like it really enhances your beauty as well. So there you have it, my Barely There makeup tutorial for summer 2021. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below letting me know if you like minimal makeup just like this and what products do you use because it always helps other people out and I love interacting with you guys as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit that bell notification because I know a lot of you are not receiving any notifications when I upload my video. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.